Welcome back everyone to another tutorial video and today I'll be showing you how to do my Dota hairstyle which is an Elvis Presley pompadour and to be even more specific it's Elvis Presley's pompadour from around the mid 50s think the Sun Records era say 1955 Elvis during that time his pompadour was not very tall as it was during the RCA era like in Jailhouse Rock for example where it was a little more um, volumized and a little more wavy but, yeah, just think of 1955 Elvis when his pompadour was not too tall, but it's very forward and super slick. So today, I'll be showing you how to do that with the hair products that Elvis most likely used. And first of all, I'll be talking about some things you might do to, pr to prep the hair, especially if you are new to pompadours or have never done this before. Because for those of you who have never done pompadours or are completely new to it, this might take a bit of practice, but if you get the hang of it, it's super easy. So, if your hair is not trained for a pompadour and if you're willing to train it so that it does a pompadour style more easily when you style it next time, every time you go out of the shower when your hair is still wet, get a vent brush and a blow dryer. And while the heat is on, while the blow dryer is on, take your vent brush and the sides basically go to the back while the heat is on and the front you swirl it to a semicircular motion while pushing it forward like this repeatedly and again the sides go to the back again this step is um, completely optional and if you want to train your hair to do a pompadour an Elvis style pompadour this is pretty much um, a good thing to consider and you also might want to apply a hair oil or an oil-based hair tonic. Well, it doesn't have to be oil-based, but preferably if it makes a hair slicker, then go for it. An oil-based um, hair tonic is the most preferable for this. And if you want something even more Elvis-specific, use Vaseline hair tonic. That's what he used um, back then. Well, if I'm in a mood for it, or if I'm having a bad hair day, or if I just need a little more slickness. I would apply just two drops of this to the sides and the back. I don't really apply it to the top and the front of my hair because this will later affect the overall structure. It might weaken the structure of a pompadour. So if you do, I recommend to keep it to just one drop on the front or the top. And I do two drops for the sides and the back. So these pre-styling preparatory stages are completely optional. So now let's get into the actual uh, tutorial. So you might want to start with damp hair. My hair is just slightly damp, it's a little dry to front right now, but it shouldn't matter because there's still a bit of wetness in my hair. Not dripping wet, just make sure it's towel dry or just very, very slightly wet, you know, damp. And the first product is Lucky Tiger Crew Butch. Well, this was most likely what Elvis used back in the day. There was photographic evidence of him using this. And in one official biography, I don't remember what book it was, but in one um, biography about Elvis where he interviewed one of his friends, they said that he used a butch wax and he applied it to the sides and the front of his hair. And the main reason why he applied it to the front of his hair is because when he performs the stage, he moves a lot, and so he wants to fall in a certain way. And apparently if you use a butch wax, it'll just make his hair fall into a more structured mess compared to if he just uses a light grease where it'll just flop around everywhere. So he wants his hair to just follow a certain pattern and fall in that particular direction. So we use this um, a more stronger pomade. Well, there weren't really many heavy pomades back in the day, but this was one of the better holding ones. This is actually somewhere between a medium to a firm, but basically you want your first pomade, because I'll be using two today. Your base pomade, the one you'll start with, should be something that'll hold better. At least a medium hold, a firm or heavy would be okay. But it doesn't have to be Lucky Tiger Crew Butch, it just has to at least have some holding properties. Now we'll take one finger scoop of this stuff.
and I'll apply it to the side so you can see. So that's one scoop for the sides. And now for the front, you want to be a little more careful for that. Another finger scoop. Now you don't want to apply too much or too little at the front, you just gotta find the sweet spot, of course. Now I can't really tell you that because it depends on your hair type. And speaking of hair type, as the video says, the video title says and the thumbnail says, I have mostly straight and fine Asian hair. Well, my hair is slightly wavy at the front, but mainly that's because it's trained to do a pompadour over the years, so it got a little wavier over the years. So yeah, it's mostly straight though. And currently my bangs just reach almost to my eyes and my sides are about this long right here. For the front, I would just apply it like this. I won't go too crazy with it. You see it can fall down a certain way like this. And then take your comb, preferably the wide tooth end, and comb it straight back to distribute the product. I'm seeing that I need a little bit more, so I'm just gonna take a tiny finger scoop of the butch wax and apply more to the top, particularly at this side over here. You also want a little more hole because we'll be putting a part over here and on the unparted side where it's more towards the back. You want more product and more hold between the top swirl and between the unparted side. So it's good to apply a little more on that side. Comb that in, distribute it all. And then your second layer of pomade, you should apply basically a light grease, a light holding pomade with lots of shine, plenty of shine. For this, Elvis used Royal Crown hair dressing. And that's how pretty much how he got his very slick and wet look. I'm gonna use one finger screw, but I don't want to overdo it because if we do, again, it will affect the structure and the strength of your door. Just going to apply this to the sides and then to the top. As you see, I'm not running it through, I'm running it over. That way, the shine stays pretty much in the top surface. Because if you apply it through, it'll also affect the rest of the butch wax in them, just weaken its hold a little. And one scoop enough is already enough to make it very shiny. So I won't be adding any more of that. Wouldn't go for more two more than two scoops though. So again, you comb right, you comb it right in. And now you have everything slicked back and the product evenly distributed. The first thing we do is to form our part. So Elvis part in his pompadour, he actually had a side part in his pompadour and it's not straight back, but it's more of a curved part, which complements the swirl motion at the front. So you want to swirl the sides like this. And then you take one of the comb lines, and just push it away. So you can see it forms a pretty curved part. I'll just um, show it later, I guess. Then for the sides, of course, you just want to slick them back.
Now what to do for the top of the hair. Around the crown area, you just comb to the sides as you would with a, a regular side part or a contour. That's the proper term for it. But obviously you stop at the front. Now this is where we will start our swirl. So swirl it towards the part of the side just like this. Swirl it. But as you get nearer and nearer to the on part of the side, you comb it pretty much up and back. So towards the part of the side, when it's closer to the part of the side, swirl it and push it forward a little bit. But we'll make it even more forward later, I'll show you how. So just swirl it and push it a little. Then on the on part of the side, you comb it straight back. And when it's closer, the swirl is closer to the unparted side, you might want to comb that a bit back and slide the up as well. And you start to see that it begins to look a little more like a pompadour. Fix the crown area towards the side if you need to. And we're almost getting there. Now for the front, something I forgot to mention when you're forming your swirl, it's better to do it with the um, wide tooth end of this double sided comb. So I formed the swirl with that particular uh, part of the comb, but when, now I'm going to tease it forward so it really gives a forward shape. And you might want to do that with a fine tooth comb so it grabs more of that hair and push it forward. So you want to dig it inside. This might take a little, this is the most difficult part for beginners. It takes a little bit of practice when you start doing this. Uh, apparently I just did it wrong and so all the hair just starts going out. So you just want to find the right depth to push your comb in, just very lightly. You take some of the hair and you push it forward. As you can see, it's going forward. Starting to go round and forward. You can, re you can fix your swirl and redo it if you need to. And of course, every time you redo the swirl, you We'll definitely have to redo the teasing motion to get it forward. And for the back, you basically form a ducktail. A ducktail is when your sides are long enough to comb backwards into fenders. And so that you comb your sides all the way back till they meet the, at the center and fall back down. So for this, I just like to comb my back, the back of my hair just straight down first. And then I take care of the sides. And just comb it backwards, going a little diagonally as I go backwards. Not completely straight, but at a slight angle going down. I do it to both sides. Take my hands and push the sides, the fenders together, make sure they meet. I mean, my hair is my hair type is not the best with dovetails, but my cut, my last haircut should allow it. It's not going to be the best dovetail in the world, but it'll look like something. Then you just take your comb and part it down where you feel that it will meet, and that's pretty much a ducktail. And that is pretty much it. Very simple to do. If you want your sides to be even more tight, you can just add a little bit more butch wax. If you want to. I just like my sides being very tight. But also optional, you can use a military brush, like a boar's hair brush, to push it all, to push it all back. Just a very tiny finger scoop for the sides. Yeah, and pretty much for the sides, even though you come it back, it's also nice to have it at the slight curved angle as well. So it looks like this. It goes slightly up and back down again. And when it goes towards the dovetail, diagonal motion. So it's like 
like a curve. Sideburns are obviously optional. I opt not to have them. And also, I simply couldn't grow proper sideburns. You just want to pat things down as well because sometimes you might find that um, the sides of the swirl look a little too tall. So how it should look is that it kind of just rises up towards the center and the center is at the highest point and then it goes back down again, pretty much like a, like a bell curve. And that is all there is to it. And right after a few slicks, I'll show you what the final hairstyle looks like. So you can see it's very swirly and very shiny. It's pretty much very forward. And that is pretty much how to do the Elvis Presley Pompadour. Well, for some reason today it's a little higher than I would normally like it because his hair is actually a bit lower, slightly uh, less tall than this, but it shouldn't matter as long as you get the shape right. And that's really what matters. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, click on the bell icon to so have a single upload of Squinty Show. And I'll see you next time on The Squinty Show.